Good morning. Today is March the 7th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today in the church here, we commemorate uh, Perpetua, Felicity, and Companions who are martyrs in Carthage. Um, and as far as a date, all we have is that uh, they were, uh, these people were martyred in Carthage around the year 202. The noble women and nursing mother Perpetua, a slave Felicity, and several other catechumens and believers were martyred in the Carthage Amphitheater by being throw to, thrown to wild beasts. The account of her imprisonment and martyrdom, which includes her prison memoirs, describes her baptism, her visions, and her willingness to leave father, infant, son, and family for Christ. The narrative of her martyrdom was so popular in the fourth century that Augustine spoke against the account being revered as highly as scripture. And this is from uh, Perpetua's writings. I saw a ladder of tremendous height made of bronze reaching all the way up to, all the way to the heavens, but it was so narrow that only one person could climb up at a time. To the sides of the ladder were attached all sorts of metal weapons. There were swords, spears, hooks, daggers, and spikes. So if anyone tried to climb up carelessly or without paying attention, he would be mangled and his flesh would adhere to the weapons. At the foot of the ladder lay a dragon of enormous size, and it would attack those who tried to climb up and try to terrify them from doing so. He will not harm me, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ. Slowly, as though he were afraid of me, the dragon stuck his head out from underneath the ladder. Then using it as my first step, I trod on his head and went up. Then I saw an immense garden, and in it a gray-haired man sat in shepherd's garb. Tall he was, and milking sheep. And standing around him were many thousands of people clad in white garments. He raised his head, looked at me, and said, I am glad you have come, my child. He gave me a mouthful of the milk, and I took it into my cupped hands and consumed it. And all those around stood, and all, and all those who stood around said, Amen. At the sound of this word, I came to, with the taste of something sweet still in my mouth. So today, as we remember these martyrs and others, uh, our prayer today is going to be um, a prayer that remembers martyrs. Let us pray. Gracious God, in every age you have sent men and women who have given their lives in witness to your love and truth. Inspire us with the memory of Perpetua, Felicity, and their companions, whose faithfulness led to the way of the cross, and give us courage to bear full witness with our lives to your Son's victory over sin and death. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.